What's up, believers? Nicholas Upchurch here. Breaking story. Out of control, nine-ton Chinese space station, Tiangong-1, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, will give splendid show when it crash lands on Earth this weekend. Experts say the plummeting spacecraft will light up the sky like a meteor shower as it burns through the Earth's atmosphere somewhere between today and Easter Monday. You can see a photo here of it. It's a big craft. Uh, it's about the size of a bus. That's my understanding. This Chinese space station is expected to plummet back to Earth this weekend, and no one is sure exactly where it will crash. You can see that. Here's a better picture of it. You can see nobody knows where it will crash. By the way, that's a composite photo. That's not a real photo. Uh, it goes on to show some more pictures. Uh, I want to highlight an article from the Detroit Free Press, my home state of Michigan. Chinese space station spurs activation of Michigan emergency operations because Michigan apparently is one of the places that it could crash. It says anyone who suspects they've encountered debris from the space station is asked by the emergency operations center to call 911 and stay at least 150 feet away from it. Uh, possibility that it hits Michigan is very low or minuscule, but they're putting out these articles. What do you guys think of the space station? And I have to say, does this mean that the flat earth is not real or is the earth flat? You know, the strange thing is we never get real pictures. It's very strange. There's a lot of, you know, there have been real pictures of the space shuttle, of course, going up and uh, satellites being launched. But all of these pictures in space are not real pictures. They are apparently composites. We don't get real pictures of Earth. They're composites. They're actually put together. NASA admits that. There's just a lot of strange things. I guess we do have video from the space station. Apparently, you can see the space station with a telescope. So I don't know. It's very interesting. Do you think this really, really puts the final nail in the coffin of the flat Earth theory? Uh, to me, the Earth seems round, but there are a lot of questions about Antarctica and different things that are not answered in the treaty. Nobody can really go inland in Antarctica and really explore Antarctica. It's protected by the military, all kinds of things going on. So leave your comments at believe.love. That's our website or youtube.com forward slash believe loves you. This is really, I think, exciting. But of course, if you see a space station falling, you better get out of the way. Who knows? It could land in your backyard. Hopefully it doesn't. My, my friends and family in Michigan, hopefully you're safe. I think the odds are very, very small. So this is Nicholas Upchurch. Look forward to joining you again.